Hello everybody! Today I would like to invite you to the nature's exploration. This time I'm gonna show you different kind of objects that you can find around you. Let's start! There are three groups of objects. The first one is called living objects. Living objects are those who live. They can grow, they can eat, move by themselves and reproduce, what means making family. Living objects. Could you repeat? Mm -hmm. Living objects. In Polish they are called organizmy ożywione. The example of living objects is this plant. As you can see it's still green and it grows every day. This plant is a living object. The second group of objects is called non-living objects. Non-living objects don't live. They cannot grow, eat, move or reproduce. They don't do any of the actions of living objects. Non-living objects. Could you repeat? Mm -hmm. Non-living objects. In Polish, they are called organizmy nieożywione. And the example of non-living objects is this vase. Okay. And the third group of objects is called dead objects. Dead objects are those that were once alive, but they don't live anymore. So in the past, they were alive like living objects, but now they are not living anymore. The example of the dead objects is this leaf. When it was on the branch, it was green and beautiful. And now when it, when it fell down, it's brown and dry. Dead objects. Could you repeat dead objects? Mm -hmm. Dead objects. In Polish, they are called Organizmy obumarłe. Alright, would you like to help me match more objects to the groups? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's start. Where would you like to put this rosemary? What do you think? Mm -hmm. You are right. It's a living object. It needs lots of water to grow healthy. What about this rose? Mm, it doesn't live anymore. Once it was beautiful and healthy, but now it dried out. It's a dead object. And what about the glue? Yes, you're right. It's a non-living object. Where are we gonna put this bowl? Mm -hmm. The bowl is also a non-living object. And what about this shell? Once it was a part of some animal, but now the animal is gone. So the shell is a dead object. And where can we put this cactus? Mm -hmm. It's also a living object. Mm -hmm. And what about this flower? Yes, it's also a dead object. When it was on the plant, it was alive. But now it fell down and it's dry. So it's a dead object. And where can we put this toy? Yeah, the toy is also a non-living object. Okay, and what do you think? Where can we match these plants? Mm -hmm. There are living objects. I hope one day some tomatoes will grow out of them and I'm gonna have a tasty breakfast with them. 
Alright guys, it seems like we matched all the objects to our groups. Let's repeat. Living objects are those who can grow, who can move, eat and reproduce. So there are mostly plants and also animals are in this category. If I had a pet, it would go to this group. We are also living objects. The next group is called non-living objects. So those are the objects that cannot do anything what living objects do. And the last group of objects is called dead objects. So these are the objects that were once alive. So they could breathe, they could eat, move and reproduce, but they cannot do it anymore dead objects okay guys now you know the three groups of objects thank you for matching them with me i hope you had fun okay guys now i have a special task for you please explore your flat and try to find three different groups of objects the living objects non-living objects and the dead objects when you do it Please draw a picture showing different examples of these groups. There is also a special worksheet on our platform with tasks for you. Please ask your parents to print it. And your task is to cut out the objects which are there and match them to the proper groups. I hope you are going to have fun. See you soon. Bye!